Hi, my name's Amy Newman. Um, this is the first video uh, for my drama school experience. So I'm going to talk about the first audition that I did uh, for 2019, for the 2020 intake, um, which was at Royal Birmingham Conservatoire, which if you want to audition there, or if you are, or if you think about it in the next few years, hopefully this video helps. Um, yeah, so it was my first audition um, for 2019. Um, I did it on the 11th of January 2020, it was on a Saturday. Um, you can choose, so it goes through UCAS Conservatoire, um, so it's not through the normal UCAS. Um, it's part of Birmingham City University, so that means you can get funding, which is great. Um, yeah, so the building itself, like the whole building for Birmingham Conservatoire is a really nice building they have a few different sections the building in my opinion for where you'll be for acting so just to let you know I auditioned there for the BA acting course um and the audition where the audition took place is where we'd where we would you know where we would be um studying I wasn't a big fan of it and my friends weren't um but I'll talk about that a bit more so yeah, uh, I'm just reading notes by the way. <laughs> so yeah, it was my first audition. I had to be there for nine in the morning. Um, and they do say to, you know, um, expect to be there for quite a few hours. I think they said like expect to be there like from like, you know, for about 12. Um, I finished, I think about 11. It was a really quick audition. Um, yeah, so I can get to Birmingham easily anyway. It's not a big problem. I kind of knew where it was um, and it turns out it was in the exact same place as where I do my lambda so if you are anyone who has done a lambda before um, and you do it at Birmingham it is in the exact same building as where the auditions take place and that's also where the BA acting students learn and do their classes and stuff so you had to be there for nine um, I think I got there for about quarter two 25 to something like that so I was early but I wasn't super duper early and I thought yeah there probably won't be loads of people there no I, I was one of the last people to arrive um we all just sat on these chairs it was just like in their entrance um there was just a woman there who just said yes yeah, sit down with all the rest of the people um surprisingly there were like so many boys there usually every audition that I've gone to there's so many girls and then there's like a, a few boys no, it was so many lads, not a lot of girls. Um, yeah, all the ages ranged from, you know, their first time doing the auditions to their third time, whatever. Um, yeah, then at about nine o'clock, we got taken up um, into the actual, like, entrance of the Birmingham Conservatoire, like, where the acting takes place. Um, we just had to sign in. I don't think they gave us a name badge or anything. There was only about 25 of us there, so it wasn't like there was loads. Um, got in, you could go to toilet, whatever, yeah. And then they took us into their common room. I think that's kind of what it is. It's where the, the students usually eat, I think I get the impression. It's just loads of chairs and I think there's a few tables. I used to have to wait in there for my Lambda. Um, so again, if you've done a Lambda, it's the exact same room that they put you in. The exact same process, to be honest. And then after that, I don't know how long we wait. I think it's like a good 10, 15 minutes that we were waiting in the common room. Probably just waiting for, you know, the other people to arrive. Um, people who were running late. We then got taken into this really big room. This really big, like, hall that they, you know, practice in. And it was actually where I did my first... It's where I did my grade 6 Lambda. So I was used to it. Um, it was just in this black room. Um... Yeah, uh, no teachers actually, like, did the warm-up. It was more just students there. So there was a girl who was in their third year and a lad who was actually, like, you know, doing the exercises with us, who was, like, taking control. I think he was in his third year as well. Um, so it was just basically, like, a really simple exercise that you do at every auditions, really. We, um, you know, they started off getting us to walk around the room, walking on our tiptoes walking just on our heels so i'd recommend not wearing a dress i'd recommend just because a lot of people always ask like you know they're always like what do i wear to auditions wear what you feel comfortable but i wore these like corduroy trousers and just a plain basic white top 
um people wore like gym trainers and leggings um yeah so just generally wear whatever you want i wouldn't recommend wearing a dress or a skirt because we did have to lie on the on the ground um and just do some exercises you like breathing exercises um i went barefoot as well um just because i was wearing like slip-on shoes so i just took those off um i did actually take trainers with me so i'd recommend taking if you don't mind being barefoot then just do it but just take trainers wear something comfortable so yeah um we didn't do a lot of warm-up it was mainly just getting ourselves mentally prepared so you know doing breathing exercises we didn't do like get to know each other um but yeah we're walking around doing all this and that doing some voice exercises i think we played the splat game so like someone stands in the middle and then if they you know do that you have to duck down and then the people next to you have to do the splat i think that's what's called splat yeah um yeah they do that at all, loads of auditions um yeah pretty generic to be honest that's where we stayed in the room again they could allow you go you could go to the toilet whenever you want um it was literally right next to you um and then yeah so there was about 25 people um at the audition and one by one i think there was two rooms going on completely separate auditions which actually was really helpful because if there's 25 people and each person being in there for 10 minutes you're going to be there for ages um but no they just it went really quick to be honest i like everyone was talking to each other it was really nice um I kind of knew my name was going to come up, or I kind of assumed. So they don't really tell you the order. Um, but yeah, I just kind of... I, I was one of the last people, just because of my last name. Um, I think I was number 20 out of 25. Usually... Right, so you go into the audition. I was greeted. It was just in a pretty small room, pretty normal-sized room. Um, there was a table in there. There was a line on the ground that actually, they, you know, said, do not go past that line. So that was nice um there was a table in there a chair and they also placed two separate chairs at the side pretending to be the edges of the stage um so that was really nice actually um yeah so it was just a man and a woman um they weren't young they were a bit on the older size um yeah really really nice just introduced myself whatever said what plays um what monologues i was gonna do i said do you mind if i use a chair they were like yeah sure go for it did that they said you know just take a breath take a bit of time between the the two monologues yeah great did that um they didn't redirect me but they did give me feedback that is why i love royal birmingham conservatoire they give feedback i don't know if it actually says that they will give you feedback but they did and my feedback was really good it was really really helpful i won't go into detail with it but it was just like really personal i you know i was like thank you so much that's really helped me um yeah just a really good experience to be honest when i was in there they you know were like oh where are you from because i've got a pretty strong accent yeah just talking about normal stuff really it was really chill wasn't you know like they didn't put a lot of pressure on me um they were just really nice people yeah um so after that they were like yeah thanks very much you can leave the room i took my water i think i took my water in there um and i left and i went back into that big room and you know the women and the men were like yeah you can go whenever you want um yeah and that's basically it i then could go um so yeah like i said i think we finished around about like half 10 11 o'clock um so expect to say expect to stay around about 12 ish if you do get an audition at nine expect to finish around about 12 ish but <clears throat> you know you're probably going to be finished a bit, a bit before that <clears throat> so yeah everyone was really nice i was speaking to a few of the um people who were helping out on the day who were current students um just asking and they were all really really nice they asked you know answered any questions that we all had um because after we did the warm-up we then had to wait obviously depending on when your name was called you had to wait obviously it could be five minutes you might be the first person to go in or you could have been the last person so that was really nice so we're talking to you keeping you calm yeah um i was speaking to a girl and she was like yeah i got offered i got recalled the one year second year got offered a foundation but she couldn't go third year she got offered ba but she couldn't go and then the fourth year she actually could go um so yeah they were all really really nice yeah pretty good audition my so my result i will say um I found out, I think, 
I did it on the Saturday and I found out on the Monday, I think, so it was really, really quick. Um, I did get a rejection and I thought, oh, not even foundation? Oh, oh well. Then on the Tuesday, I went into, uh, into college and I got a notification, uh, you know, an email from them saying, hi, we actually really liked you. Um, they didn't offer me foundation, that's not what they're doing. They're just saying, would you consider doing another audition? to be put into the foundation course. I was like, yeah, sure. Can't really afford it because it is £6,000 and there's no funding for it, like at a normal university. But I was like, you know what, I'll do it. Um, so yeah, so I, I scheduled that to be in March, but obviously the coronavirus, so I had to do it virtual auditions. And they have kind of offered me foundation. It's really weird. They've put me on reserve list, but it's not like a typical reserve list. It's, it's different. Um, I think what they're just doing is waiting until the end of May. So I'm saying that I've been offered foundation. I don't actually know, and I don't really care because I'm not going to go anyway. <laughs> but yeah, um, my personal, like, how I felt about the school. So, oh, by the way, all this will be listed down below, like the timestamps. So if you just came on this video just to see my result or just to hear about the actual experience, it will all be listed down below. Um, so yeah, the building is weird. I'm not going to lie, it's really weird. When you walk around kind of like the complex you, you will see this really massive building and on the side of it it says royal birmingham conservatory and you think oh my god that's a beautiful building like if that's where the acting takes place that's gonna be great and if you actually search up on google i think that building comes up um that's not where the act acting takes place so if you know where the library is for birmingham city uni it's connected to this massive building called the um millennium point um which is part of the think tank which is where the museum is birmingham city museum it's literally in that building it's really weird it doesn't seem like a drama school at all because like you literally go through the doors on your left is this weird museum and then there's like security in the middle and if you go up the escalators it's just there um if you go up the escalators to your left there are you know, lifts and stuff um and yeah i think I, th I get the impression that it's just three th floors of just rooms, but it's a bit, it's just a bit weird, really. Yeah, I didn't really like that. Well, don't get me wrong, the facilities are nice, but from what I saw, they were just big, you know, big kind of studios. They didn't really have any anything else in there. And like I said, I've done Lambda, and so I've seen most of the rooms on that floor. Yeah, um... It was probably my least liked place. Location was obviously Birmingham's great. Um, I can easily get there, which was also great. I can get government funding, which is great. Building, probably my least liked building out of all the places I auditioned at. Audition experience was really, really nice. Can't really fault them for that. It was really quick, easy, simple. They gave me feedback. However, because I got good feedback, well, not necessarily good, but like it was it was nice feedback that I could then use. Um, my friends and people that I've talked to, they did not get the same experience. So if you're watching this video, do not expect to get amazing feedback. My friend, she got horrible feedback and it was not nice. Um, and I don't really know why they said that. Um, and when I was at the National Youth Theatre, I spoke to someone else and he got even worse feedback. So yeah, um, but yeah, hope this helps. But yeah, bye.